hey guys what's up welcome back to another video today 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 as y'all can see from the title we have us some greek food zico okay so what we have today ooh, these bags are big guys okay so we have a lamb shawarma i think that's how you say it and it's pretty big. I didn't even take none of this out. OMG. This is huge. And I also have some fries in here. Some fries. Are you gonna eat one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They sure do give us a lot of fries. Look at this. Okay, now, I also have some hummus with pita bread, which I'm like super duper excited for. Mmm, and pizza. So yes, um, your girl wanted some Greek food today. And I didn't know what to get, so I was like, oh my gosh, y'all, this is huge. Look at how big this is. Mm. How do I take this thumbnail? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pray and jump right in, guys, because the girl is hungry. Thank you, Jesus, for this food. Let this be nutritious to our bodies. Keep us motivated, determined, and walk in your direction. Lord, make us more like you and less like us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so these fries, y'all, I really need to invest in one of those car. Mmm. Their fries are like homemade fries. Mm. I also have a Pepsi. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. All right, so this has got some lamb in it, some onions, some tomatoes, tzatziki. Mm. See that? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. This is my first time ever trying Zico's. Never had it before. Didn't even know that they were Greek food. Look at this pita bread. I wonder if it's homemade. I don't even really know how to eat this, but we're gonna. Um, we is gonna figure it out. Okay. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. So we're just gonna dip it in the hummus. OMG, guys. Do y'all like hummus? Mm. Comment down below. I like the roasted red pepper hummus from Aldi's. Mm. Mm -hmm. And 
look like it looks like there's like some oil maybe olive oil some parsley and whatever else they mm-hmm this is a pretty big size this is a small and this was only like $2.99 for this mm -hmm. oh yeah oh yeah mm. I hope y'all are having a blessed day a great weekend I'm sorry this video is going to come out kind of late today, y'all. Mm. I didn't pre-record yesterday because I have um, all three kids. Let's try a fry with some hummus. Um, you know. Just life. Mm. But. Y'all will see this video. Later today. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I really wish I was at home. Eating this so you guys could see. everything you know all set up but I've been working today it's been a long day already and I still have to go grocery shopping it's still a little bit early so I still have plenty of time. Um, I got up early. I went to work. Finally did my eyebrows, y'all. Finally. They look so much better. And... I was so hungry. I haven't ate all morning, all day. Mm. And it's about two o'clock almost. Mm. This thing is huge. I guess it, they only, at Zico's, they only have a uh, beef shawarma. If that's how you say it, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Um, but I asked them if they can actually substitute the beef for lamb. They were like, you know, you could just get a gyro. But I already know what a gyro tastes like, so. I didn't know the only difference <clears throat> in the shawarma, I guess, is the tortilla. Or the wrap. Mm. But what I was really intrigued about was this hummus. And y'all, it's good. It's good. I kind of like it more than the Aldi's one that I always get, the roasted red pepper one. And I've never been a fan of hummus before. Oh my gosh, you guys can't even see that. Oh. Uh, mm. It's such like a mm, good snack. Mm -mm -mm. Welcome to all my new subscribers. 
welcome thank you guys for joining the family i really really appreciate y'all i've been getting so much love lately you guys have all been sharing my um my videos thank you to ace eats uh ebony thank you girl uh all of you there's so many like i can't even name y'all right now but mm. Gil, mm. thank you, thank you, thank you. I really, really, really appreciate y'all for all the love, all the support, all the kind words. Mm. You know, this like YouTube thing for me was always like a big deal. I've always wanted to do YouTube, and. Mm. I've never had like anything handed down to me or like anything handed to me. So when I see like, okay, me working hard and I'm getting the results that I want, that I knew I could get, that makes me very proud of myself. Like the same way I'm sure y'all are proud of yourselves. Cause I see some of you guys, mm, and some of y'all have come a long way. A long way. You should be very proud of y'all. Yourself. For real. It's hard. Mm. It's hard, but, you know, when you don't have anything handed down to you and you got to get it out the mud for yourself, for your kids, for your family. It makes it so much more worth it because it's just like you did that. Like you worked for it and you did it. You was able to do that by yourself. So you didn't need nobody to do nothing for you. Just like, mm. I'm sure everybody has a goal. I'm sure everybody has like a some a vision in your mind that you see yourself being there or you see yourself where you're going to be. And success, I was watching a word yesterday. And if you guys don't follow Latoya Okia, make sure you guys go subscribe to her channel. She's a motivational coach, a motivational speaker, and She's very, very, very good at what she does. And I mean that, like I watch her all the time and she actually posted a video yesterday and she was just talking about how like, you don't need nobody to hand you anything. You don't, you have everything you have is inside of you. You can produce anything you want to produce from the, oh, excuse me, from the inside. God literally gave us all our life. We grew up thinking that, oh, I need a bachelor's degree. I need to go to school for this. I need to go do this. Who needs a degree? Like you really, I understand there's some professions that like, you know, to be a doctor, a psychiatrist, you know, there's certain things that yes, you need a degree for if that's your dream, if that's what you want to do. But don't go thinking that you need a degree for everything in life because you don't. You can really make it with no degree, with no education, with just whatever God gave you inside. Every one of you have a gift. There's something that God gave you that only you have that's going to be your your rescue, your rescue plan. It's going to be you. It's what you have inside. Mm. A lot of people just be waiting for somebody to come rescue them or somebody to come do something for them or to, to hand them something down. Let me get a little change. Let me get something. No, like when you can literally get everything on your own. Guys, I have had a hard life and I'm so grateful and so like hardworking that my parents didn't have anything handed down to them. My parents worked hard. They worked hard their whole life. They literally did. Like, I'm getting emotional talking about this because, like, I know my mom and my dad worked so, so hard 
for everything that they have in life. And now my dad is living his dream. He wanted to go back to our country in Uruguay. He literally sold everything that he had and moved back to our country. And he's living in his homeland, doing what he loves. And it's just like an inspiration to me to know they didn't hand me down a car. They didn't hand me down thousands, a million dollars my grandparents never had money. My great grandparents never had money. It's this, that's not in my life. That was never in my life. I never had anything handed down to me. When my family member died, they died and that's it. All they left was memories. I don't get anything. I don't get all of this stuff that they have. And I, it might just be me, but everything that they have, like, oh, and I don't even know. I don't even know how to say it because, like, I've never been raised around this. Like, oh, my granddaddy had this much money and he passed it down to me. That's great. That's wonderful. And that's amazing. And that is a blessing. But I never had that. And I want to start that for my kids. I want them. I want to pass out something down to them. So mm, that is why I do YouTube, okay? <clears throat> I do YouTube so that I can have something because this is just a start like you know don't get me wrong i love doing this and i'm gonna forever do this but there's also other things i would like to do there's also other things that i'm gonna branch out and do mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. and don't ever think that it's too late don't ever think that you're too old to start or too old to do anything. If you're watching this and you want to start a YouTube channel, go ahead. It doesn't matter if you're 70 years old. It doesn't matter if you're 80 years old. Mm. You could still do it. It's never too late. You never run out of time. <laughs> And even the people who are, you know, further in life than you, oh, excuse me, they also had to work to get there. I know there's certain people that, oh, they had a lot of, a lot of stuff handed down to them and, you know, God bless them. And I hope that, you know, they do smart things with whatever it was, but there's also people that we look at now that inspire us, that we watch all the time or we listen to or you know, whatever, books of people that we read, successful people that we read, that they had to struggle too. They had to go through it to get to it. They had to, <clears throat> like we say, they had to get it out the mud. They had to get, they had to go through something. It's just because we don't see, what we see is the ending result. We see the, the end number. We don't see, we're not there every step of the way to see what they have to go through, what we go through, just like you guys. You guys don't see everything I have to go through every single day, day-to-day -day basis. Just like I don't see what y'all have to go through and on, on a day-to-day -day basis in, in order to be able to be here and post a video for you guys. You know, it's just like sometimes we give ourselves so little credit for doing so much and we really do do so much. Like there's days that I'm like, how the heck am I even doing this? Like how do I have the power to even be awake right now? Cause I'd be so tired, but I'm like, that's, I have the power because God put it in me. I have that fire in me that God put in me and was like, this is what's going to get you through because you know what you need to do the same way that you guys need to be the same way that you guys need to see everything mm, that you do. Success is not measured by what you see that other people have that you don't have. Success is measured by where you were in the past and where you are now. If there is a little progress from where you were before than where you are now, you're being successful. You you have success right then and there. Because it's getting better and better and better. And that's why I was so like proud of myself to hit the 500 that I did because it may not be that much but hey, it's better than what it was.
it's progressing, it's getting better, and it's gonna get even better than that. So I'm just grateful for you guys, and I hope that you guys, you know, I hope I can help y'all. I'll just put some hummus on here. Oh. I hope I can make it a little easier for you guys to get through your days. Um, and I gotta go. <laughs> uh oh. I hope I can help whoever this message was for. You know. Whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that you feel like is not going to be the end and you feel like you're not doing good enough, mm. if you're doing better than before, you are already successful. You're already being successful. Mm. And if you even have in your head to start, That's a start. That's a start. Mm. And that goes to anybody, not just like, oh, starting a YouTube, just starting a business, mm. starting a family, whatever. Mm. Yeah. This was definitely a lot of food. <laughs> and I'm glad I got to talk to y'all you know all my new subscribers Ooh. all my new subscribers this is me this is who I am I just try I'm just trying to be here for you guys and <clears throat> you know if if you're if somebody's in your life and they're not adding value to your life in any type of way then you maybe need to reevaluate that relationship, that friendship, that whatever it is, because we are here to add value to each other's life. So even if I'm not adding value to y'all's life, if I'm not doing anything that satisfies you guys or that makes y'all happy, feel free to unsubscribe because I don't want to be in somebody's life who I'm not actually able to help or I'm not actually, I'm, I'm just here, you know? And the same thing for you guys. I watch y'all's videos and you guys inspire me. Mm. There's people that I watch and I listen to and it's because they add value to my life. It's not because, oh, I don't know. I can't really even think of anything, but mm. anytime anybody is in your life, if they are not adding value to your life in some way or form, then you already know. Oh. Oh gosh. And with that being said, guys, sorry if this video was a little bit long and I just was ranting on and on and on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe, hit that bell so you can get notified every time I post a video. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Mm, comment down below if this video helped you, if it made you feel better, if you like the food, whatever. Um, say hi if you're new. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate y'all so much from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do. And as always, I will see you all in my next video. Bye.